Hey guitar friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to make a quick video explaining some of the differences uh, between thin picks and thick picks. Ugh. Okay, so I get asked about this all the time. What's better, thin pick, thick pick? So today I just kind of want to go over some of the differences, pros and cons to both, depending on what style of music you play, what kind of guitar you're playing, uh, what tones you're going for, all those things can kind of factor in on what's the right pick for you. We're not going to go super in-depth because there's a lot of things you could talk about. We could talk about the material of the pick, we could talk about the shape of the pick, big pick, tiny jazz picks, whatever. So I'm going to keep it kind of general and then I'm going to give you my personal opinions at the very end of the video and you guys can roast me in the comments down below. Before we get into it though, I want to ask you guys to please hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do a really cool giveaway when we get to 500 subscriptions, so you do not want to miss that. Let me just play a little bit for you and you can kind of hear the difference between thin and thick pick. For the thin pick, I've got a Jim Dunlop 0.38 millimeter, which is insanely thin. And for the thick, I'm going to be using a DeAndrea Proplec 1.5 millimeter which is very, very thick. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what a thin pick is. We're, ta we're, we're talking about the thickness, and thin picks generally are around 0.4 millimeters, thick up to maybe 0.6 or 7. Thick picks generally being 0.9 millimeters, 1 millimeter. I've even played picks as thick as like 3.5 millimeters, which is insane. So thin picks, as you can see, are really flexible. And thick picks have basically no bend to them. Let's start with pros and cons of thin picks. Pros of thin picks. Great for strumming. And pretty much only strumming. Thin picks are good for maybe light, kind of delicate rhythm guitar playing. Some people say they feel faster when they're playing a thin pick. The downside is you have a little bit less accuracy when you go to play single note lines. Because thin picks are so bendable, what happens is you go to pluck a note, the pick touches the string, you press through, the pick bends, and then releases. So there's almost like a little delay from when you push down the pick to when the note comes. So there's a little less accuracy for lead playing or single note lines or little bass runs or whatever you're doing. Also, thin picks tend to not have a lot of low end, so the tone is kind of this bright, thwacky, kind of swooshing sort of sound. Is that bad? That depends on what you're playing. And one last con of thin picks is that they break very easily uh, or just wear out very easily. So you have to keep replacing them constantly. So if you're only strumming 100% of the time, thin pick might be a good fit for you. All right, so now, pros and cons of thick picks. Let's start with the pros. So thick picks give us more control and accuracy. They're more durable. There's less pick noise. And just in general, you're gonna get a much louder, bigger sound out of the guitar. So in my opinion, the tone of a thick pick is much better. Cons of thick picks. If you're really heavy with your right hand, you'll probably tend to break more strings. And also, they're harder to hold on to. So if you're having trouble just gripping the pick in general without it flopping out of your hand, you might want to go to a slightly thinner pick. 
Luckily, there's a whole range of thicknesses, so you can kind of dial in what works best for you in your personal situation. A lot of people like medium gauge picks because they're sort of a best of both worlds. They don't break as easily and they still have a little better tone, but they're easier to hold on to. And again, the materials and some other things factor into that. That's for another video. As far as tone goes, thin picks have that bright flappy kind of sound and thick picks have, tend to have a darker, more warm kind of sound. So a lot of jazz players, for instance, tend to use thicker picks in general. And what works on one specific guitar doesn't work the same on other guitars. If I'm playing steel string acoustic guitar, I tend to use a medium lightish pick. If I'm playing an arch top for a straight ahead jazz gig, then I'm definitely gonna use a very thick pick with sort of rounder edges to give it a much darker sound, um, more, more traditional jazz guitar sound. The other cool thing is that picks are super cheap. So you can go to the store with 20 bucks, buy a whole bunch of different ones, experiment with them on your guitar, find out what works best for you. So those of you who know me know that I don't really play a lot of gigs where I'm just strumming 100% of the time. Um, so I tend not to like the thin picks. Having said that, I will never tell someone to not use a thin pick. But if a student comes in and they're playing on a pick that does this, I tell them to throw that in the garbage can and get a nice medium pick out. <laughs> All right, so thick picks are where it's at. If you need a little bit softer sound or a little bit brighter sound for strumming, try a medium pick. Um, you know, experiment with thin ones, but my personal opinion is that picks like this are just garbage. Like, it, it's just really frustrating to play with a pick like this to me. Um, but I know that's not everyone's experience, so tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm sure I'm gonna get roasted, but that's okay. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. If so, please click subscribe, check out the other videos on the channel. I'll put a link up here to the uh, guitar tutorial playlist that I've got going on. And if any of you guys have ideas for future content or some kind of guitar concept you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.